The Nintendo 3DS is an amazing handheld and if you jailbreak it, it gets even better. But the PS Vita is, is an amazing console. Why did you put the freaking Vita on top of my 3DS? Bro, get the fuck out of my face. Now, I personally think that this game, this port is well suited for the 3DS even more than the PlayStation Vita because of the extra screen that gives us more room to explore the Pip-Boy simultaneously while we are in game. So this is actually a very nice feature. It takes a little bit of getting used to when it comes to navigation like using the pointer. When you're trying to exit the map from here the stylus it just does not want to exit. You're gonna have to use the thumbstick in order to exit out of the map. You just have to press the select button until you see that you're able to control the cursor and press the R button and that's it. Now you can get back to your gameplay by pressing the select button, it will cycle the screens and all of that. In order to play the game, it's very straightforward. All you have to do is just use the pointer. In order to move the character, press the L button until you see that the cursor changes to a reticle. This one is for executing the action, like if you are encountering an enemy or something if you're about to attack them and then if you press the L button again you're gonna see this circle thing this one will help you to move move the circle and press the R button uh, it will move the character nicely and there you go there is a rat here we're gonna attack the rat cycle it to the attack reticle there you go the, basically this is how you play Fallout on your 3DS but obviously we're not just here for that I'm gonna show you guys how to install and set up the game for your jailbroken 3DS's. So yeah, make sure that your 3DS's are jailbroken. If you are looking for a tutorial, I have one, an extensive guide, how to jailbreak, how to re-jailbreak, how to remove your jailbreak. I have all of them covered, okay? So links in the description, you can check it out. Once making sure of that, you're going to I'm um, you're going to follow through the steps that I'm about to show in regards to installation of the game. So in order to do that, you're gonna have to remove the SD card from your 3DS, take out the SD card, put it in an SD card reader, and then connect it to your PC. Okay, so once your SD card shows up, you're going to see something like this. Now before we start make sure that you have the game data files. The game data files are and should be the same as how they are with the PlayStation Vita's game data files. There is no change in that. You need the PC version of Fallout 1 Community Edition and once you get a hold of that, this here is my game files. You're gonna need the data folder from your game installation folder of Fallout 1 Community Edition along with critter.dat and master.dat. You're gonna need these two files, two dat files named critter.dat and master.dat along with the data folder which includes the game data files. Okay, and once you have acquired all of these, you're gonna just place them inside a folder named as Fallout, just like this. So once that's done, you're gonna just copy it Head over into your 3DS's SD card, look for the 3DS folder, step into the 3DS folder and this is where you're going to paste the Fallout folder. Okay, so that's one step done. Next, what you're gonna do is head over to the link in the description, click on download, you're going to download a rare file. So the downloaded rare file should look something like this, the Fallout 3DS. You're gonna extract that file head over into the extracted folder. Now you're going to see all these files. Now, if you want to run the game directly through Homebrew Launcher, you're gonna use the .3dsx file. You're just gonna copy the Fallout CE.3dsx, head back into your 3DS folder of your 3DS's SD card and get inside the Fallout folder, copied Fallout folder. This is where you're going to paste the .3dsx file. That's it. And after that, you're good to go in terms of running the game directly. You don't have to install it. But if you want to install the game, then you're gonna copy the .cia file, place it to the, onto the root of your SD card, or if you keep things organized 
or like to keep things organized like how I do, you can just place it inside a dedicated .cia folder like how I have made. So the .cia files can be installed with the help of FBI application. I'm going to show that to you real quick. Everything has been copied and pasted. Everything is done. And oh, by the way, do not fucking ask me where to gather the game data files from. I swear to God, I keep on getting asked about these things. There are rules and regulations. If you're dumbass, dense ass, window licking piece of shit ass doesn't get that logic just fucking just step on a lego block or something and and i hope once you step on that lego block you fall on your knees onto another fucking lego block that would bring in some sense into your dense fucking peanut of a brain okay okay after following all of these steps you're just gonna remove the sd card so let's just safely eject it Quickly insert your 3DS's SD card into your 3DS's. Turn on your 3DS. Now the 3DS X file, you just run it directly by accessing the Homebrew Launcher. Look for the copied and pasted Fallout folder. Head over inside that folder and there you go. This is, this is the 3DS X file. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna close off the Homebrew Launcher. You should be well accustomed with FBI if you have a jailbroken 3DS look for the FBI app here you're gonna look for the SD head over into the SD and look for the CIA folder I have it named as CIA's now you're gonna see the fallout CE.CIA just install the CIA or if you want to just save up some space or whatever install and delete CIA it will delete the CIA after it's done with the installation it has been installed successfully now there you go new software has been added to the home menu we're just gonna to unwrap the gift box and we have fallout and from this point onwards it's good to go that's basically how you install and set up fallout 1 community edition on your jailbroken 3ds's if you like this video and found this tutorial useful helpful please make sure to drop in a like and subscribe I'm gonna see you guys on the next one join me on my live streams just jump into the live stream have a bit of chat or whatever if not it's totally fine so yeah I'm gonna see you guys on the next one Dr. Root 7 signing off peace